hi everyone today i came up with a new video and uh, before i dive into the video i wanted to show you something and here you can see the majority of people haven't subscribed uh, yet my channel you weird buddy uh i really appreciate guys if you can uh, subscribe and give your support and also in the same time i would like to say uh, if i if i anything i can get improved uh, when i demonstrate in the videos please uh, let me know in the comment section I definitely try it out and I will try to give a quality videos for you guys and also uh, since I have only 388 uh, subscribers so far so don't forget to subscribe and give me support if anything you want to know regarding about my video please uh, let me know in the comment section uh, whenever I have the time I will reply them and uh, I, will, I will give you support okay now I think uh, we can uh, go to our today's video Today we are going to uh, talk about how we can uh, setting up this Tailwind CSS for our micro frontend setup. And this time I'm going to use uh, Tailwind CSS version 4, and this is the latest version of Tailwind CSS. And uh, let's see how we can do that. So in order to do that, I have already configured a small micro frontend setup. Right? Uh, I have already root micro frontend and home micro frontend. And if you go to the root micro frontend. Uh, src and index.ejs uh, you can see inside my uh, import map i have included my home mfe ur inside my import map and uh, also in the layout.html file i have included the uh, application as a home micro frontend and uh, inside home micro frontend here i have just a uh, one tag including home mfe test so let's see after running these uh, micro frontends and uh, how we can see it in the browser so my root micro frontend is running on port 9000 and uh, my home micro frontend will be running on port 9001 okay my uh, both uh, micro frontends are up and running and let's see in our browser how it's working okay the port will be localhost 9000 here you can see now my uh, h1 tag is uh, is loading cool so now we can dive into tailwind css website again and click on uh, get started button and we are navigating to the installation page actually and here you can see they are providing a couple of options uh, we can using white uh, using post css tailwind cli framework guides and uh, play cdn Actually, I will show you how we can use the CDN as well, but uh, you need to make sure it's not you should not use in the production environment, right? And it's uh, only designed for the uh, testing, and you can play around with the development environment, and it's only for the development purpose, right? And let's copy this script and uh, place it in our root micro frontend index.ejs. Uh, we can place it here right and in order to check whether our tailwind uh, classes are working or not uh, just uh, copy this h1 and after that uh, we can replace it in our home micro frontend uh, root component uh, instead of this h1 okay now it should uh, be working now and let's see in our browser Here you can see it's already working uh, without any problem, right? And but is but this is not the one I wanted to show you guys, right? So today we are going to uh, work with the uh, real dependencies in Tailwind CSS because uh, we can't use this in production. Now. So in that case, uh, let's see how we can configure that. So we need to click on this framework guides and click on uh, this nestjs tab, right? after that so first step will be you need to install these dependencies actually so let me copy these uh, dependencies and uh, we are going to install our dependency for home micro frontend actually and in order to install uh, need to navigate to our home micro frontend right and uh, just paste the dependencies in pmi and other than these dependencies there is another dependency we, we need and that called post css loader 
right and uh, let's uh, hit on enter right our all dependencies uh, have installed right now and uh, let's see what is the next step and next step is uh, we need to create a file called postcss config.mjs and let's create that file and we need to paste this uh, code schema to there yes uh, then right and uh, next step is uh, we need to import this uh, tailbind css so in order to do that uh, i am going to create new css file uh, so let's create it in here but uh, you can create a new folder called styles and you can move your all the slides there as well but uh, for the showcase, I just uh, include it here. And uh, right. Uh, so next step is uh, we need to do some modification in our webpack.config.js. Right. Uh, so you need to add these uh, few uh, code lines here. But I will include these uh, code lines in uh, my video description as well. Right? Make sure to add this uh, part. And uh, uh, next thing is uh, since we added our CDN, uh, we need to remove this one because uh, this is not needed anymore. And the last step would be in the root component, uh, we need to import our created index.css uh, in order to import it import like this say uh, and uh, make sure to this because we are using a react micro and uh, we can't have it like just class it should be class name and let's see in the browser whether it's working uh, as before Okay, it's not working. Let's see after stopping all the micro front ends and let's uh, restart again. Okay, now let's check in our browser. Here it is. You can see our hello world test is uh, applied with the the specific uh, tailwind classes. But uh, let's see something else. Let's try uh, some uh, other tailwind component. So let's check our uh, we can browse components. Now some of the components are premium components. Let's try a free one. okay let's try this component so in order to try this one we can you, you should see there is a drop down and we can select react and after that uh, let's click on code and let's just uh, we can copy and paste this uh, code into our uh, home microphone just copy and uh, go to the root component and just paste it here and let's replace this as root right uh, now let's see now browser here it is uh, it's working without any problems guys so that's it uh, for this video guys if uh, you have any questions and problems please let me know in the comment section and until the next video guys see you bye